If you're looking for a fun little motorhome that's easy to drive, yet is very comfortable for those long distance trips, this might be the right model for you. Let's go take a look. This is the 2023 Thor Gemini 23TW. This is a 23 foot long Class C motorhome that sits on a Ford Transit chassis. Underneath the hood, you'll find a 3.5 liter six cylinder EcoBoost engine that you'll commonly find in a standard F-150. That motor puts out 310 horsepower with 400 pound feet of torque, providing you nearly 15 miles of the gallon, a comfortable drive packed with tons of safety features, and most importantly, it's all wheel drive. Let's get into the tour. On your campsite of the Gemini, up top, you're gonna to see you have a 14 foot long awning. This takes up nearly the entire sidewall of the coach, providing you maximum coverage from the sun. Now, notice one thing, it is a legless awning. And what I mean by that is you just simply have arms that are extended up top here, and you have nothing that attaches to the sidewall down here. One cool thing about the awning is the fact that it has a built-in seismic sensor, meaning, in the event that wind picks up on this awning, it's gonna automatically retract itself, saving you from thousands of dollars or possibly an insurance claim. And of course, it's got your fancy LED lights in there so you can show off your brand new rig when you're hanging out there at the campground. When we talk about construction, we have to point out the fact that Thor has the leading class structural warranty. I'm talking 12 years on the overall structure and six years on their vacuum bonded lamination process. Now, in order for you to be able to maintain that warranty, you simply just need to bring it into your local Thor RV dealer and have your exterior seals checked out just once a year. And as you get that done annually, it of course will keep your warranty intact for many years to come. That warranty is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking at any other RV that's out there and available within the industry, you're gonna find just three years at best. So the Gemini is built with fiberglass siding. Back behind the walls, what you can't see is block foam insulation along with aluminum studs, not only in the side walls, but also up top in the roof. And of course, down low for the chassis side of things, you'll have steel or tubular steel cross members to ultimately provide you the most solid foundation possible. And along with that structure, we have to refer to the fully molded fiberglass front cap. This front cap on most Class C's is a very common area where water will intrude. And typically that's because of the exterior seams that are there. Versus with this Gemini, there's very minimal seams on the exterior here, which means there's less areas for water to intrude. Therefore, you should have less issues of water in the future. On the campsite, you'll see you have one exterior baggage door. There's an LED light inside there that illuminates using a switch at the interior of the coach. Now, I must point out the material of this baggage uh, area. This is made out of something called rotoform or rotocast, which is more or less a high density plastic that is easy to wipe out and clean. That way you can keep your RV smelling nice and fresh for a long time. Now up and above that, you have two electrical outlets where you can plug in any of your favorite camping essentials. And over here to the left, you've got an LP Quick Connect. This attaches to the propane tank that's installed up and underneath of your coach. And ideally you could set up a little portable gas grill so you can take all the camping fun outside rather than stinking up the kitchen inside. Now underneath, I must point out that this Gemini is a dual rear wheel it's a dually meaning there's four tires in the back to provide you extra ride comfort and more stability when behind the wheel you can see inside here that there are two areas for you to be able to connect and fill up both the inner tire but also that outer tire so this is a new one to me it's got a 4,000 watt flex power generator now that's not the new part the new part to me is that this is a dual fuel generator, which means it either pulls from the 25 gallon gasoline tank or it'll pull from the 40 pound propane tank. Many of you are wondering, well, why? 
Well, normally with most vehicles, they're gonna just pull from one single source and that's gasoline. Which means once you run out of that 20 gallons of gas that you have, you can unfortunately no longer fire up that generator. Now you have a second fuel source which will enable you to be able to go off grid for longer because now you have two sources of fuel to be able to pull from. That is just an incredible feature that I'm super excited for them to have. Now, the way that this happens is there's a valve right back inside here that currently is, it is switched down to the propane mode. We're just gonna simply lift this valve up and now we're in the gasoline mode. This floor plan is utilizing a full wall slide out. And the way that they're able to achieve this is through the three tracks Schwintech slide. They add an extra slide out column up top here, providing less stress on the slide out motors, enabling it all the strength it needs to run in all that extra weight. Now, of course, we gotta point out the fact that it has an awning cover over top of the slide, which will help prevent from dirt and debris from collecting up top there, and ultimately in the future could possibly damage that slide out. It's already common standard with the Thor Gemini. Now let's move over to some of the extra features. At the top of the Gemini, you'll see they have a rear view camera, which could be beneficial for when it comes time for you to park your rig, but also it could also come in handy if you're towing a trailer behind this. This model has a hitch on the back that's rated for five thousand pounds with a 500 pound tongue weight they even provide you all the wiring necessary for any sort of trailer that you have you've got a seven pin plug there along with a four pin flat all right so my camera died but we're back again here today first thing on the back i want to point out you have a gerard on-demand water heater this is going to provide you instant and endless hot water so you can take a longer shower now in the back here you're going to also see they have a black tank flush it's just what it sounds like you'll hook up a dedicated hose to that that'll spray and clean out the inside of your black tank now in the rear you're going to see you have some extra storage here and then down low here's all of your drainage outlets first thing back inside there you've got your sewage drain up top there are your gray and black tank valves to the left this blue line here that is your freshwater tank drain and then back in behind there you have a hot and a cold line those are your low point drains now up and above you're going to have your city water connection you can fill up your freshwater tank right above that to the left is an exterior shower you could spray off your feet coming back from a sandy day at the beach this does offer hot and cold this model is a 30 amp service and up and above that you have a cable inlet uh, inlet in case you want to plug in right there at the campground now let's check out some of the storage underneath and then we'll get inside directly underneath the slide out you're going to have a huge storage area back and behind there all that wiring that is your manual override for this full wall slide out just give you a quick pan or tour of how big that storage area is and then lastly right over here you're going to see is that 40 pound propane tank again you're going to need to take this to somebody that's certified to fill up propane uh, otherwise i don't think this model is going to be burning up a whole lot now let's get inside so entering into the rv the first thing we're going to do is discuss our first impressions this is an awesome floor plan. That full wall slide out significantly helps with the overall size and feel inside here. Just look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Got a TV up and overhead. There's that kitchen space again. Sorry to give you some uh, spins there if I've been spinning around a little too much. Let's just start right here at the dinette. Okay, so the dinette here, this drops down into a bed. There is storage that's accessible underneath of each one of these booth areas here. So look over here, that pops out. There's even seat belts on both sides here. Looks like one seat belt there, and then likely an additional two seat belts over here. Now, I love the fact that they're giving you this big window right here next to the dinette, along with some cup holders here in the table. And then you even have a USB-C charging station here that also could act as a wireless charging center. Now, this entire model does have MCD roller shades. These are blackout shades. It'll just help ultimately keep the coach cooler and really just not allow any light inside. Over here, you've got a little storage cubby for cell phones or any of your devices that has a USB port to it. Now, up and overhead, this is my favorite part of this entire vehicle, and that's the fact that it has this beautiful 
windshield up top here. I mean, look at this beautiful bluebird sky day. That is incredible. There is in fact a shade that'll cover right over top of that. That way you don't allow any of the light in. Now over here, you can see you have an insignia television, which we'll show you a little bit more in detail momentarily. But first we need to discuss right by the entrance door. Okay, this is your all-in-one main panel here. Let's just close this door up. This panel is incredible. Okay, I'm not gonna show you all the details, but just notice, you can see how full each one of your tanks are. You can control your water pump, your lights, you know, all the climate inside here. I mean, it is just jam-packed with some features. By the way, this model does have some powered stabilizing jacks on it, which you can control literally from inside here. I mean, that is just nuts. And then down low, these are all individual light switches that you can use there. Lots of good features, jam-packed with it in this particular motorhome. Now, let's talk about the kitchen space. Down low, you've got a convection microwave, tons of storage underneath, and everybody loves to see the storage. And wow, look at that. You've got a trash can area. It's not a huge trash can, but at least you got space for it. Now, let's check out all these drawers. No idea what that was, but we'll figure that out a little later. Man, they pull all the way out. That is so nice. Look at that. And then underneath of that microwave, you've got a huge pots and pans drawer. Now up top and overhead, you're gonna see you have a three burner cooktop. Oh, just a two burner cooktop. At least it's got that nice glass cover and it does have an automatic pilot light here. Again, we got some additional charging stations or charging ports right here. Click on it, pull it up. Man, look at that. Outlets, USBs, and even a USB-C. Now, I love the fact that they're giving you a little sink cover here, but more importantly, I like the fact that it is a stainless steel sink bowl. It's massive. You can actually put pots and pans inside there. And paired with that sink bowl is a residential style high rise faucet that pulls out and has two different spraying functions to it. And again, I love that they are using windows all throughout this coach and where they can. That way we can look out on our campsite while we're doing dishes or cooking and make sure that our kids or whomever is nice and safe out there or just maybe enjoy some of the beautiful weather now up and above that we've got to show you these overhead cabinets okay these overhead cabinets are incredible they look very european they've got such unique styling to them inside you have adjustable shelves so that you can really customize the full use of how you want your kitchen space laid out now over here is your refrigerator. This refrigerator is unlike anything that I've ever seen. This thing is a 12 volt re uh, driven refrigerator. Looks like you got a huge amount of space up top here. And then down low, you've got a little pull out freezer tray. Isn't that just absolutely nifty? Since we're down low here, this is your propane driven furnace. And to the left, you're gonna have more storage. Now let's show you what the top storage cabinet looks like here. Back inside of there, looks like you got some plug-in areas along with your uh, cable uh, inlet there for the antenna that's up top and on the roof. Now swinging around in the back here, before we show you that incredible Murphy bed, I've got to show you the amount of storage that's in here. Hi everybody. You've got a huge closet in the back area here that has mirrors to it. Look at this. So you got a little hanging space there, both on the left and also on the right. Uh, one thing that I would like to have seen inside of here are some lights, which I don't see, but uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. Now, spinning around there to the left, you've got a television that's right across from the TV. And then inside here, you have light switches for the main bedroom lights, uh, all the overhead lights, and even you can start and stop the generator right there. Underneath of each one of those closet spaces there, you've got some pull-out storage trays, lots of good drawer space. And then down low, you've got an outlet here along with your converter box, okay? Now, in the back, underneath of this Murphy bed area, they at least are giving you some extra storage space. Okay, you've got some drawers that also pull out here. I mean, this thing is jam packed with storage in such a small motorhome. This is awesome, look at all this. Got an outlet along with USBs right there. Now let's go ahead and get into the most exciting part and that's us folding down this Murphy bed area here. Let's just do it together. We're just gonna simply push in, release the strap there and this whole area, voila. Look at what that turns into. 
You saw the dimensions there earlier. What is it, nearly a full size, almost a queen size mattress here. You've got some storage cabinets up and overhead there with some fancy illuminated lights. And then to the left, you have a window to be able to just help generate some good cross breeze through here. And I think the way they're gonna achieve that is by using the fan that's up top and above this bed area. It's a powered fan. You can simply turn that thing on and that will do such a good job of moving a ton of air inside here. Now, since we're talking about air, we gotta talk about the HVAC. We've got an overhead, uh, looks like a 13,500 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioner. It's got a quick dump feature on here that you could open up to really push a lot of air essentially inside here. But if you wanna really cool this, uh, this place out nice and evenly, You've got all of these overhead ductwork areas here. You can close these off and really just spin those around to control uh, the most amount of temperature in here that you can. So I decided to show you the bathroom here next instead. Inside here, you are loaded up again with some storage. Got a stand-in shower here that has the shower miser. If none of you have heard of that before, the shower miser is basically uh, a device that they're using where any water that's in the lines, it'll pull that water out, put it into the fresh water tank, and instead replace that water with hot water. That way, as soon as you turn on your water, you're gonna have instant hot water, and you're gonna preserve the amount of water that you're using with this coach. That is just an incredible incredible feature. Now, I got to point out the toilet area here. I know it's just a standard toilet, but it's on a pedestal. So if I spin around here, let's just see the kind of height we have. A little weird. If you can see here, my toes are touching the ground. So maybe I need one of those little squatty potty things there that might help my, uh, my uh, uh, you know, business just a little easier. Now, let's talk about the sink space. You've got a stainless steel sink bowl here. Up and above that are the controls for that on-demand water heater. You do have overhead light switches along with a fan switch for that overhead fan. Now, this is your medicine cabinet here that's got a mirror on it, but you could also open it up and expose some storage. To the right there, you've got a little hand towel holder. And then up and above, right behind that toilet, you've got some more storage here. So there's three features on here. I did not want to make sure so there's three features on here I wanted to be sure I didn't miss. The first one, there is solar already up top on the roof. It's a 100 watt panel that'll help trickle charge your single Group 31 lead acid battery. The second feature, this model comes equipped with 12 volt tank heating pads. Okay, those are going to be pads that simply heat or warm up your tanks and prevent them from freezing in some of those cold temperatures. Keep in mind, this is not a true Four Seasons coach, so I don't wanna set you up for failure thinking you can take this thing to Alaska and not have any worry of frozen pipes because they will bust. Now, the last thing is this model comes equipped up on the roof with a WineGuard 2.0. Okay, that WineGuard gives you the ability to purchase a little SIM card that'll install into the antenna itself, and that will give you the ability to travel down the road and have your own built-in Wi-Fi. Traditionally, this is done through any of your cell phone providers, or you could just register using the SIM card that's already up and inside there through AT&T, and you can just simply pay as you go. Lots of cool features. Now, let's get up front here to the front dash. So we're talking about Ford Transit. We're in 2023. These have been extremely difficult to come by. However, in my experience, when driving a motorhome with this engine and that transmission, this is one of the fastest motorhomes that I have ever been in. Now, I know motorhome and fast is not supposed to go together, but this model absolutely crushes it. Let's get into a couple of the unique features that this Ford Transit chassis has to offer. Now, when you're cruising around in an RV, you want comfort because there's gonna be a lot of miles likely you're gonna put on this coach. Wouldn't you agree it would be nice to have something with all kinds of features to help increase your overall driving experience? Well, with the Ford Transit chassis, they have done just that. First, let's start with the steering wheel. That's a smart steering wheel. It gives you the ability to control volume. You can answer and hang up on calls. You even have voice command systems, so that way you don't even have to ever leave your hands from the steering wheel. I mean, all kinds of good stuff going on there. Now, when we talk about this chassis, we have to point out the fact that you have literally a 
iPad in the middle of this thing. Okay, this iPad controls everything related to your coach. I'm talking Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. We can adjust, you know, the temperature controls inside here. It's already got built-in navigation. I mean, all kinds of cool stuff. Again, just to make your driving experience that much better. Now, this model, as you can see up and above that iPad, has a built-in rear view camera. When I say built-in rear view camera, it's on all the time, which means for those of you that are going to be towing a small trailer behind this, or perhaps even a small car for that matter, you can have peace of mind when cruising down the road that your trailer or your vehicle is still behind the motorhome. This thing has all kinds of built-in safety features. All right, I'm just going to name a few and I'm probably going to miss a few because there's just so darn many. Some of my favorites are, it's got pre-collision assist, which means when you're cruising down the highway and somebody comes right in front of you and slams on their brakes, it's gonna detect that, it's gonna automatically apply the brakes on the motorhome. All right, it's got automatic windshield wash or windshield wipers, meaning when the rain starts, it's gonna sense it and they're gonna automatically kick on. It's got high beam assist, which means when you've got your high beams on and another car is approaching you at nighttime, it's gonna automatically shut your headlights down to low beams and then turn them right back to high beams once they go by. It even has a hill start assist, which means it's going to continue to hold the brake while you're on a hill, that way the motorhome doesn't roll backwards and that way you can hit the gas and keep on going. I mean, that's a safety feature in itself, right? So we're inside and now I have the slide out all closed up. So I'd love to show you what road mode looks like. It's not too bad. You can get to everything excluding the main bedroom area back here. So no closet and no bed. However, we can still easily access the dinette and still get to the bathroom with no problem. So let's just walk through here, just show you what we're working with. You gotta watch out for this guy, that's a little tight. And then we'll get all the way back in here into the bathroom. So thank you for tuning in to the tour of the 23 Thor Gemini. Again, my first name is Justin. I work at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit me with a subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Make sure you give this video a like. And lastly, leave a comment down below. We'll see you guys on the next one.